I'm Adam from English Acorn and in this video today we're going to look at the properties bar um, from the main page on Construct 2. So let's open Construct 2. I default, well, my default setting is to remove the start page, but if you have the start page open, you can simply close it by clicking on the X. For this video, we're going to go to File, New, and New Project, and we're going to open a new project to help illustrate what the property bar is for. Before we click on Open down here, if you just look to the left, you'll see there's the word Properties, and there's this area where information is going to appear once we open a new project. So let's go and do that. Let's open a new project. And as you can see, there's a series of um, text fields, data that, that has now appeared within the properties bar. Okay. Now, um, whatever you have selected, apart from a few items, but mainly it's anything you select, for example, if I click on layout and select that, the properties of what I've selected will appear here. Some things, for example, event sheets don't have any properties, so if I click on them, nothing changes here. Um, that's because event sheets are associated with layouts and the properties for a layout are kept with the, prop, um, with the layout. Um, it's fairly easy to edit this information. Um, for example, name, I can simply just click on the text here and change it to, um, I don't know, let's say, example, layout. It's fairly simple stuff. Most of these options are straightforward. If you ever get confused, if you click on them, for example, if I click on active layer, and then I look down at the bottom, I have a description of what this refers to. In this case, active layer is the layer new objects are inserted into. So let's now insert a new object. If I right click or if I double click on the white space and then click on new insert new object, I'm being, I have been given a list of objects which I can now insert. I'm going to choose sprite and click on insert. I'm going to choose where to insert it and now I'm going to draw a small picture just so I can see it within the layout editor. So there it is. And you'll notice that I now have object properties on the left. Now these object properties can be grouped and they can you can change the order of how they appear using these two um, images at the top. You can have everything ordered in alphabetical order or if you don't want that and you want it to revert back to how it was you can click on that again. The advantage of having it, it in an alphabetical order is it helps you to navigate to the property you want to change because it's easier to find it alphabetically. Alternatively, if you notice that all of these well, these different highlight, uh, different titled um, sections of information can either be expanded or closed. If you want to expand or close them all, you can click on um, this. Oh, sorry, this just expands them all. But you can click on this image to expand all the different parts of information. Some things you don't necessarily need. need for example, position and size, because if I were to change the position here, let's say change that to 30, and then maintain that comma, which is after it, then it simply changes the X. Um, it, the information in the X label to that, which refers to the, the X, um, X coordinate, its position. Um, this is basically what the properties bar does. It's quite straightforward. Um, so just to recap, whatever you click on, you'll find the properties for that on the left. Now, just like the other bars, this projects, Z or layers, objects, tile map, and bookmarks, with the property bars, you can actually change its position in the screen. If you right click, you'll be, you'll be given a list of other options which you can use to display the properties bar as to how you want. For example, if I click now on hide, it will hide the property bar. To bring that property bar back again, if I go up to view at the top and go to properties bar, which is now untoggled, if I click it to toggle it on, it should now appear. Generally speaking, if you can't find something, if you come up to view and look within this um, grid of checkboxes, you can tick through the one you want to show again. Now, there are other options. For example, auto hide. If I click on auto hide, then the properties bar is now auto hidden to the left. To reveal it again, I simply mouse over to where it is and it will reveal itself. Now, if it takes a while to reveal itself, you can actually click on the properties um, box before it appears. And I found when I have several different um, tabs or these information boxes um, hidden in this manner that sometimes it takes a while for them to appear so I click on them and they tend to appear after that. I'm not sure whether that's just because the delay and the click happen to coincide or not. Um, okay, and to 
bringing that properties bar back to where it was originally you can click on properties now this is technically pinned or what is known as pinned and it's stuck to the side you can unpin it either by clicking on the um, sorry I thought that's the unpin I, either by clicking on the properties and dragging it or if I just put this back you can right click and you can click on floating and this floats it around the screen now if I were to just put it back for a second um, okay I thought this was an unpin mark but it's an auto hide so rather than right clicking clicking auto hide you can simply just click on this and then you can click it off if you don't want it to auto hide again okay if you are to if you want to reposition your properties bar to the right you simply drag where the title is it pulls it from its location and you'll be given a list of different other areas where you can actually place it so if you just move the mouse cursor over these different boxes which have now appeared um, it should highlight the area where it would place the properties bar um, for example over here if I go to the center it can place it at the top bottom of the side of this small squared box the other option um, to place the properties bar is to right click and click on tabbed document now this places it with the other tabs your layouts your event sheet and now your properties bar um, you have less options here you can't simply drag the properties tab around you can reposition it compared to the other ones but to get this properties bar back out and to the left of how it was before you have to right click and click on tab document and then um, un it untabs it and you can resize it to how you want so that's the properties bar um, in the next video we look at the bars on the right hand side before looking at the main area which we'll use to edit and create